and moving to East Africa, where a public hospital in Kenya has fired 100 of its doctors. This comes as thousands of doctors have been on a nationwide strike for nearly a month, demanding better pay and working conditions. However, President William Ruto says his government does not have the money to pay these striking doctors. International media and the world is now aware of what is currently happening in Kenya that is in regard to the ongoing strike. Remember Dr. William Samuel has portrayed himself on international stage as a Pan-African and a good leader who should actually be listened to. Remember what he was telling Macron in France uh, about uh, Kenyan uh, African actually not being favored when being given resources and many other things when he lectured uh, Europeans for uh, collecting together presidents instead of just being represented by one uh, leader, for example, of an African Union chairman. But it seems uh, he has yet is yet to clean his house. Hello and welcome to the Socrato TV. I am your host Socrato, and I am inviting you to this political discourse where I want us to look into how the international media is portraying Dr. William Samuel Ruto and his regime uh, in regard to the way that he is treating uh, the doctors. Remember, we are currently experiencing uh, a strike. Tensions between doctors and the government in Kenya has been fueling for quite some time now. Thousands of doctors have been staging a nationwide strike for almost a month. But instead of solving their problems, the Kenyan government has made them more furious. On Tuesday, a public hospital in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, fired a hundred striking doctors. They were replaced with foreign medics from other East African nations. The hospital management hired three doctors from Ethiopia and one each from Tanzania and Malawi. The public hospital offers treatment to cancer patients from across the country. Due to the doctor's strike, many patients were being forced to go home without being attended. New doctors, the hospital said, would compensate for its thinning medical workforce. We were meant to see the doctor today because she cannot swallow any food. The doctor was supposed to perform a procedure on her so that she can be able to eat. But we got sent back and asked to come tomorrow midday because there were no doctors available today. We shall try again tomorrow to see if we shall find any. But why are so many doctors striking in Kenya? Because they are demanding better pay, improved working conditions, the hiring of medical interns and adequate medical insurance cover. Medical services are not free. You cannot tell us that medicine is a calling. Apart from being a calling, medicine is a career. It is a career. We are human beings. We need to be paid. We are human beings. This isn't the first time that the doctors are up in arms against the government. In 2017, Kenya's largest medical union, which has over 7,000 members, held a nationwide strike for the same reasons. The strike went on for 100 days and forced the closure of public hospitals that led to scores of deaths. As the conditions worsened, the government signed a collective bargaining agreement with them. But the striking doctors say those demands have not been fulfilled till now. Because government has refused to honor the collective bargaining agreement that was signed seven years ago. The government was trying to just join them. We are telling them, we won't go back to work until the doctor eaters are posted. Until the doctor doing their masters, their school fees is paid and they are paid. Until the medical cover for doctors is paid for. Until the contracts, quality paid contracts, are paid on good salary on PNP. We won't go up. In March, Kenya's Employment and Labor Relations Court encouraged dialogue between the two sides. It also mandated the doctors' union to halt the strike and subsequently established a 14-day framework to resolve the deadlock. Before we critically look into uh, this uh, scenario that is happening in Kenya, I'm requesting those who are new to our channel, uh, please take one second and subscribe. Remember, when you subscribe, you support our channel. And you support our channel by making us to grow bigger. That is having uh, more numbers or more followers as the Socrato TV.
the first thing that the international media is doing is that they are exposing the hypocrisy of Dr. William Samaya Ruto. Remember, as I said, Dr. William Samaya Ruto has been working throughout the world, especially in the international stage, portraying himself as a very credible and confident leader who knows what he's doing. But if his situation in his own country is expressing something different, then it simply means that even what he says at the international stage is just to show himself or portray himself uh, that which he is not. Uh, this actually makes him look bad than if he had not shown himself as such kind of a leader. Assuming he had not gone to these European countries and shown them that he wants to actually uh, represent Africa, then there will not have been a lot of limelight in Kenya in regard to this strike that is happening in Kenya. Remember, this is an internal issue. And as much as it's affecting uh, lives, sometimes uh, uh, international media usually put a bland eye on uh, such situations. But they are, he's now in the spotlight because he wanted to be. The second reason why uh, of what international media is doing is that they are destroying the credibility of Dr. William Samaruto by showing or portraying him as a hypocrite or a hypocritical leader he his stance or the sentiments he made or his the perception of other leaders at international stage um, actually view him as a person who should not be trusted a person who speaks a lot but does very little a person who is very good at speaking but very poor at doing so, his credibility, assuming he, he goes again and uh, in attendance, other African leaders are there listening to each other. And then he comes and starts telling them that they should do this, 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 and this. They will view him as an individual, a person who has failed in his own country and is trying to impose uh, that which he cannot do himself to other people. That is trying to be hard to other people, yet you are very soft to yourself. So, in that way, his credibility is damaged totally. The other thing is that the international media is tarnishing his reputation. Uh, reputation, uh, there's a very a thin line between reputation and credibility. Credibility is when is what you say can be trusted. Reputation is how people know you. What do they know you about? Previously, before such kind of exposure in the international media, his reputation was that a leader who is very strict and a leader who is very uh, audible, not audible, but uh, bold and assertive about issues that are, is affecting uh, Africans, which Africans means the people of his own country as well. So if he comes out uh, and uh, this is how the international media is portraying him. The reputation now, the fact that his credibility is now eroded or de degraded, then that leads to his reputation also being changed or soiled. So the reputation of Dr. William Samuel Ruto will actually uh, be of an individual who is not a good leader, a weak leader, a leader who cannot solve the issues that are affecting uh, people in his own country. Therefore, the authority or the power he was getting to lecture people or other leaders, especially uh, the European leaders in other countries, will be withered or watered. So he may even uh, not be given that opportunity or chance to talk uh, when such kind of conference are held. Or even if he's given such kind of opportunity to talk, his words or sentiments will not be taken as they were taken before. Remember, there was a point when I was seeing Dr. William Samuel videos along various platforms on YouTube and social media where people are saying, oh, this is now the leader that we wanted. This is the leader that is speaking for Africa. But recently, I have seen a number of people now speaking opposite, saying, oh, we thought this uh, is a good leader. Kumbe, he just wants to please the, uh, the West. So 
the repetition that Dr. William Samueruto had uh, is actually uh, lowering down. Now that aspect of where we saw in the video where um, Dr. William Samueruto, uh, as per the report and even what he said, he said that there is no money in the country. And he argues that we have to live within our means, which he means we can't not spend amount of money that we don't have. The statement was aiming doctors and even the common mananchi, which personally I believe that Dr. William Samaruto is trying to divide people and doctors. And the strategy that he's using, you want to portray doctors as very greedy individuals who want more money, even at the expense of a country uh, running, so that people will now start criticizing these doctors. Oh, these doctors, why are you wanting this, a lot of money? Yet, uh, you actually earn a lot and also uh, you just understand that we do not have a, a good amount of money in the country. Uh, but I don't think that has worked because so far I just see people are actually supporting doctors. As much as there are those who are criticizing from the fact that they are playing with life, that is people are dying, People believe that these doctors should earn a good amount of money from the fact that they do a lot of work and their work is very difficult. It is very strenuous and it needs to be compensated just as proportional as uh, how hard the work is. I, uh, I now want us to look at the consequences uh, of the international media covering these stories of doctors striking in Kenya and painting Dr. William Samaritu in bad light. But before we start looking into that, I'm requesting those who are new to our channel, please just hold this video and click the subscribe button. Is that the fact that this strike of doctors is now being covered in the international media, it is portraying Dr. William Samaritu as an individual who cannot govern. Well, remember, perception is very key, especially in politics. If he is being portrayed as an individual who cannot govern, then indeed he may be a person who cannot govern. And if the situation in the country deteriorates, the country may be unmanageable. Remember, currently, doctors are not willing to treat people. People are dying daily which is not good in large numbers. I heard Wam Chomba saying that it is even worse than Corona. So if the situations becomes dire and Ruto stands on or he refuses that he is not willing to increase the amount of money, provide good working condition and even high interns who are supposed to be hired, pay uh, masters, uh, doctors who are learning masters, pay their school fees, then I believe that it will be very difficult for Dr. William Samuel to manage this country. And as I insist, managing means he may lose the election in the year 2027 or even the, he may even fail to finish uh, the term. Remember, sometimes even a president can be impeached. Uh, the, the other point is that the, the, the effect of this strike that is happening uh, in the health domain or in the health sector is likely to cascade in other sectors, for example, education agriculture, uh, which other section, mining, tourism. Remember, uh, there's something we call domino effect. Domino effect is whereby a problem is likely to influence the, pro the issue or the problem to also happen in other sections. So in, tomorrow you may see even teachers start striking also. They want to pay, uh, their pay to be increased. You may see, recently we saw the members of parliament claiming that they, they are actually and not being given their money, that is CDF on time. So if this effect cascades indeed to other domains or other sectors, then uh, it will be very difficult for Dr. William Samueloto to survive in his regime. So the other consequence I look at is this domino effect. And that is what I, I think Dr. William Samueloto should be uh, very, very keen with. The other point is that Kenya will now be looked as a failed state and it will be a punchline for other countries. Remember there was a point when uh, the president of uh, Tanzania, that is Samia Suluhu, mocked Kenya saying, Jirania Hoko Giza, in which he was meaning 
jana kwa kuingiza anazungumza tu Kiingereza which he actually meant that Kenyans as much as they speak good English uh, they are suffering a lot they, they, they was a period when you are uh, electricity was uh, anytime electricity just disappeared so there was a blackout i, I, I think it was a point we had a blackout for over 24 hours so uh, uh, as such a move that is kind of a punch that other countries may start uh, making to kenya mocking kenya saying oh this country cannot even pay its doctors which kind of kind of country is this a country that does not value it's very very important uh, workers who are doctors so if a country now becomes a punchline it even weakens it from not only the public perception but it may weaken it in other aspects remember the fact that other countries now uh, start looking at your leaders as a failed person or an incompetent individual means they will not be able or they will not trust his decisions and if they had even some in business investment in their country or have uh, some trade partnership they may decide to terminate them or at or uh, if not really terminating which is uh, although unlikely they may reduce it because uh, no one wants to work with an individual who is incompetent an individual who is incompetent and doesn't want to pay debts uh, what will make that person a person who cannot pay debts to uh, doctors who are striking his country to take care of his own people what makes you think that he can pay a debt he took outside so it will make another country to look at kenya skeptically which is not good both for business and from a social perspective I don't know what you think about uh, uh, the issue of doctors being relied on international media. Please share with us your comment so that we can continue deliberating on this conversation. Until we meet again, bye bye.